doing well. Uh, if I look somewhat too put up, like too made up for a cooking show or like a cooking video, it's because I did a Valentine's Day look today. So this is the remnants of that. But if I look a hot mess, it's because I just woke up from a nap. So the lipstick might be all smeared and everything else. The false lashes might be coming off. I don't know. All I know is uh, that today I felt like having a keto taco soup and this was requested for me to show it. So, uh, or do a video. And so that's what I wanna do and I wanna make sure I get it done. So, and I'll tell you exactly what the uh, ingredient or the measurements are. Now this will serve 10 servings. This is something that I would, I'm doubling because I love to put it in the freezer or you know what I mean? This is good for lunch. You know, I just wanna have a batch of this. So, uh, but anyway, it's 10 servings. Okay, it's what it's gonna make. It is two pounds of ground beef, uh, one medium onion chopped, two teaspoons of garlic minced, two teaspoons of cumin, uh, two teaspoons of chili powder, 16 ounces of cream cheese softened, and two 10 ounce cans of Rotel tomatoes, 18 ounces of beef broth, and then two cups of heavy whipping cream. So those are the ingredients. And uh, okay, now let's put it together. Um, once everything is in the pot, once you have everything, all the ingredients put together, then uh, what it says to do is to have it come to a slow simmer. And that's what I did. I probably had this simmering on low for about a good 10 minutes. And uh, this way the tomato and everything, the garlic and everything can infuse together. So, and as you can see, I added some extra. Yes, I know. I add this stuff to everything, let me tell you. Okay, I'm gonna go plate this and eat. If you have any suggestions on what we can add, maybe some bacon. Uh, remember, it's keto for me, so if you have any suggestions, let me know. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.